let's talk about LeBron James. So he was asked about whether he's been vaccinated and whether he's in favor of essentially yeah. va vaccine mandates. And here is what he said. Have you been vaccinated? And do you feel compelled to send a message to the rest of the country about the importance of vaccination? Um, I think when it comes down for me, I can speak about myself. Um, I think everyone has their own choice um, to do what they feel is right for themselves and their family and things of that nature. Um, I know um, that I was very skeptical uh, about it all, um, but after doing my research and things of that nature, I felt like it was best suited for not only me, but for my family and for my friends. And, uh, you know, and that's why I decided to do it. So, but as far as I, I don't, you guys should know me, anything that I talk about, I don't talk about other people and, and what they should do. Um, I speak for me um, and for my family and, uh, you know, that's what it's about. But you don't think the, the issue is important enough for someone with your stature to, to speak out on it? You know, we're talking about individuals' bodies. You know, we're not talking about something that's, you know, political or, or uh, racism or police brutality and things of that nature. We're talking about, like, people's bodies and well-beings. You know, so I don't feel like, for me personally, that I should get involved in, in, in what other people should do for their bodies. I mean, meanwhile, I just have to point out he was fine with defunding the police and all that. Like that also affects people's bodies. <laughs> that, that also affects yeah. people's safety on a day to day basis. But he was fine commenting on that. Uh, Ted Cruz, of all people, tweets out, I've never said this before, but I agree with at King James's Twitter yeah. handle. Um, and so all the alignments are exactly opposite on this. He's getting attacked by the left and he's getting praised by the right, right. For, um, for for it's for the second piece. I mean, getting vaccinated. I, I don't think anybody opposes you getting vaccinated except for the hardcore anti-vaxxers. But the fact that he won't get behind saying everyone should do it. Your thoughts right. on what this cultural moment means? Well, it's very interesting because meanwhile, your pizza guy in New York City has to tell you to do it or he can't let you stay and eat his your slice of pizza in his pizzeria. Uh, but LeBron James gets to not say anything, right? It sort of Interesting that we've put the onus on small business owners to uh, enforce vaccination at their restaurants, um, at, at their art galleries, at their, uh, you know, any other kind of business that they have where people come indoors in New York City with the mask, man uh, with the vaccine mandate, the business owner has to ask for vaccination. I think what LeBron James is saying is absolutely right. I would just hope that it would have, could apply to more people than just LeBron James. I I don't think it's anybody's business who else gets vaccinated. Again, I got vaccinated. I, I feel secure in my vaccination. I don't care what other people do. I don't care if other people are unvaccinated because it really does not affect me. I, I am vaccinated. And if you believe in the vaccine, if you trust in the science of the vaccine, why do you care if other people are vaccinated or not? Well, he's he's not pro mandate. That's very obvious. And one of the things that you hear in the press is that the people who are not pro mandate or heaven forbid, not pro-vaccine, are mm -hmm. all Republicans. And I don't think LeBron James is a Republican based on what I've heard him say in the past. Right, and, right. and there's also a significant holdout um, population within the black community when it comes to these vaccines. A fact the media and the Democrats just will not acknowledge. They want it to be all Trump, MAGA, you know, patriot, yeah. America hat wearing uh, folks in, you know, Louisiana and Mississippi. Right. It's not true. It's not uh, just personal experience. The people that I know that are not vaccinated in New York are not very few of them would be considered Republicans at all, much less Trump supporters. Um, it really runs the gamut. People are afraid. Uh, they maybe think that they're in, in good enough shape that they don't need the vaccine. I, I know a lot of young people in their 20s and 30s who are like, I don't feel like I need to be vaccinated for something that's not a risk to me. And then the, the real cohort that I know that is not getting vaccinated are people who have had the virus before. And once yes. again, other countries accept previous infection as uh, evidence of, you know, of having antibodies. But in the U.S., we largely don't, except our State Department does. When you come in from another country, you can either show vaccination or proof of infection. But we, for some reason, that's the only place that that, that is permitted. Oh, it's I didn't not, know that. Yeah, you can't. If you want to fly back into the U.S., you, you can show proof of prior infection because it makes sense. It means you beat the virus. You have the antibodies. Yes. You're in the same place, maybe even better than a vaccinated person. Why not? Um, so but we don't. But in New York, for example, you can't show evidence of prior infection to go to a restaurant or uh, to go into some, you know, into a museum or something. Mm -hmm. um, 
And what you're seeing is all these healthcare workers who are now forced to get vaccinated. The reason that they don't want to get vaccinated, they're not anti-vax. They're all saying, I've had this already. I've been infected. Why do I need to be vaccinated now? And the truth is they don't. 